Don't you ever feel like sometimes it's just hard to make something that's original? Yeah, I just want to build something no one's ever tried before, you know? Good luck with that, man. Everybody's done everything on the internet. There's nothing new. I bet you can't do something that no one's done before. Yeah, and whatever you do, it better be It better good. be good. Trust me, it will be. Nothing, no ideas, useless, empty, rain. Wow, washed up after one video? So sad. It's over, I'm done, we're never gonna make a new video. I'm not giving up on you yet. What are you doing? You're supposed to be an engineer or something. Think outside the box, <laughs> a new angle. Oh. Okay, that was a little bit over the top, but we just want to show you how important this project is to us and our childhood. In the last shot, Jackson was watching a clip from the movie Big Hero 6, starring one of our favorite characters of all time, Baymax. In the movie, Baymax is essentially a big, white, inflatable marshmallow responsible for being your healthcare assistant. Since the movie came out in 2014, not a soul has attempted to recreate this project in real life. But since we were kids, we've wanted nothing more than to bring Baymax out of our imaginations and into reality. And in this video, we're gonna use the skills we've gained since then to realize our childhood dreams and be the first to build Baymax. But how could three college students who are wildly underqualified and frighteningly overconfident ever do the impossible? Can we be the first people on the internet to build Baymax? Well, Max is starting to form the idea of how we're going to build Baymax. Jackson and I will want to tell you why we're actually building him. See, we noticed that Max doesn't get a lot of hugs in his life, and we all know that robots are the only way to fix that. So, we're going to build Baymax to give Max the biggest and warmest hug of his life. Stay around and see if he actually feels loved. Now that we've started CADing and coding, let's talk about some of the difficulties and compromises we're gonna have to make with Baymax. Since we don't have an unlimited budget or time as college students, some of the more complicated features like opening up from his red box and walking are just not gonna be a possibility. Sponsor, please, sponsor. Maybe in the future we will tackle those issues, but for now, let's focus on the main capabilities we want to include. First, we want him to talk and interact with you just like the movie. We want him to be able to use his hands and fingers see and interact with the world in front of him, have a screen in his chest so that you can rate your pain and show other diagnostics, to be able to give warm hugs and have keating capabilities for Max, be able to do basic healthcare scanning with our infrared sensor and camera, and have a card reader to create different personalities just like the movie. Now let's talk about some of the components we're going to need to buy and build to make these features possible. Go, go, go! All right, here's all the parts. We got a Raspberry Pi, Arduino, wind frame, servo controller, camera, color sensor, temperature sensor, power sheet block. We got a LiPo, breaker, special service, and regular servo. Even if you aren't an engineer, you could tell this is quite a big project, and we're gonna have to work hard and push our skills to make this project happen. If this is your first time building with us, let me introduce ourselves. We are Jam, Jackson, Anders, Max, your three favorite college students who make cool engineering projects for your entertainment. Jackson is responsible for coding the things that make the things go. Anders does the filming, editing, and making things look good. And Max is on the mechanical stuff, which includes finding parts for what we need and putting them together. So, so let's, let's start, start building. Well, we lost audio for this clip, so we're going to make it up. I'm going to go interview something. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. Hey, what you, what you doing? I'm installing the projector. Why? Because it needs to be installed. Yeah, why? Uh, because I have to display. Yeah, why? Uh, that's a screw, I think. Well, what you doing? 
uh, I have to use screws and something, bro. Because how else am I supposed to use it? I think you're wrong. I'm not wrong. You're definitely wrong. Okay. This is the differential we will be using on the shoulder of Baymax. Differentials are commonly used on cars to allow the axle to output to the wheels at differing speeds during turns. On Baymax, the differential allows two servos to output two degrees of freedom while combining the torque. Here's how it works. When the servos rotate against each other, the shaft rotates, lifting the arm. When the servos rotate in the same direction, the shoulder rotates inward or outward. Coordinating these servo movements can create more complex and natural looking shoulder motion. Servos are also directly responsible for driving the elbows. Meanwhile, the movement of the head and fingers is achieved using a string and pulley system, similar to how a puppet operates. This method gives us precise control of the movements, just like in the movies. All right, that's enough hardware. Let's hear from your favorite college student, Jackson. Oh, fine. It's software time. Yippee! Yippee! Oh, what is that? Oh, it's the last two months of my life. For the code, the goal is to make Baymax just like he is in the movie. Conversational, helpful, and full of fancy features. We have two platforms running the project. A Raspberry Pi computer and an Arduino microcontroller. The Raspberry Pi does all the smart stuff, so we'll call it Big Boss. The Arduino, or Little Boss, listens to Big Boss for instructions. When Baymax starts, Big Boss records audio with a microphone and converts any speech into text using what's called an API. An API asks the internet to do something specific, like convert speech to text. After that, Big Boss uses a... Oh, man, skip that, skip that, you don't need to see that. Uh, Big Boss uses AI to categorize the response with things like body temperature, facial recognition, or an AI-generated response. Then Big Boss clones Baymax's voice and uses a speaker to respond to the user just like Baymax. Now, let's go to Little Boss land. Woo! Over here, Little Boss listens to Big Boss for instructions on how to actuate Baymax's arms and shoulders and also controls the heating element, the lights, and the card reader. Little Boss is the volunteer we all want in our lives. He works 24-7 without pay. Altogether, these 1,500 lines of code are what make Baymax awesome and me go insane. All right, so we bought nine of these 20 kilogram brushless RC servos. We determined they were strong enough for the load, but what we didn't consider is they're not meant to be used outside of RC applications. So anytime we sent them a signal, they do a bunch of jittering. No matter what we did, we couldn't fix it. I tried to blame it on Jackson. Classic. Because it always saw first fault, but this time it wasn't. Um, so we reached out to our friends at High Tech, and they graciously provided with nine servos. So we're going to go pick those up right now. All right, guys, we're on our way to pick up the servos from the warehouse. Yeah. Yes, sir. Cool. Have a good one, guys. Thanks so much. Be safe. Now that we have the servos from our friends at High Tech, I've installed it on the differentials, the elbows, the fingers, and the head, and they'll definitely work this time. And for the software, we built an algorithm that smooths out the movement of the motors so they definitely won't break themselves. We've got Baymax all built. Now we just have to figure out how to make them talk. Whoa! Uh... Uh, hey Max, go get him, go. Anders here in editing, where we're gonna make the voice for Baymax so that Jackson can implement it in the software. Wow, he's actually doing something. First, I'm gonna edit clips of just Baymax talking from the movie and then feed it into 11 Labs. Not a sponsor. Then we're gonna make our own voice model using the fancy software, yay. Now, we can feed that text and get Baymax's voice out whenever we want. What happens? Uh, we were testing out the servos and a bunch of magic smoke came out of two of the servos on the differential. No! These two... Shush! Anyways, uh, so now they didn't break the gears, but the motors definitely cooked. No! So we'll have to do something about that. Uh, probably get stronger servos and counter spring the arm. No! No! Alright, cut! No! Cut! Alright, we're back here. This time I have new servos from High Tech. They're their highest work brushless servos, and this time they definitely work. And Jackson did some stuff. Yeah, I built an algorithm that makes sure that Baymax's servos don't move too far so he doesn't dislocate his shoulder. 
Now that we have all that done, I think we're pretty much ready to show you the product. Shall we? Alright guys, after two months of work and hundreds of hours, we finally finished Baymax. And it took a lot of work, but he is jam-packed with features and we can't wait to show you guys what he can do. Alright, well to show everything that Baymax can do, I'm going to ask him questions and we're going to see how he responds and if he really is just like the movie. Alright, so now we're going to see if Baymax can recognize my face. Hello Baymax. Hello there Jackson, how are you doing today? And just like that, Baymax recognized my face and now knows all of my medical history. So let's test that. Hey Baymax, should I be cautious about eating any certain types of food? Yes, you have a severe allergy to peanuts. I would recommend staying away from peanuts to avoid bad consequences. And he knows it. All right, so in the movie, Baymax has different personalities that can be given to him through his different cards in his card reader. So let's see if that works. We're gonna take out his green card and put in his red card. Warning, combat mode activated. Please step away. And just like that, Baymax is now in combat mode, ready to fight some bad guys. It's a little scary. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. My programming was created by Jam, Jackson, Anders, and Max. What is the nature of your medical emergency? My wrist is really hurting today. What do you think I should do? On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your pain? I will scan you now. Scan complete. You have sustained a minor sprain. I recommend ice. I will apply a cold pack. My pain's only about a five. Do I really need to do all that? A rating of five indicates your pain is mild. Ice will reduce inflammation and help heal your arm. I cannot deactivate until you say you are satisfied with your care. Are you satisfied with your care? I am satisfied with my care. Well, I'm really happy about how Baymax turned out and we were able to accomplish lots of the features that we set out to do. However, we did run into a couple problems from the software side, the computer, the Raspberry Pi, or the big boss that's running this whole thing. It's just a little too slow to make Baymax run super duper fast and really feel lifelike. So in the future, I'd really like to improve on that. Now let's talk to Max about some of the accomplishments and problems we had on the mechanical side. All right, so some of the accomplishments I had were installing all the sensors. So that's our camera sensor, our temperature sensor, color sensors for car detection. Um, as far as the animatronics go, there's nine servos all throughout this that control the arms and everything else. Um, big problem I had was this differential was designed for different servos. So that meant that meshing the gears didn't work and so we can't really raise the arms all the way. <laughs> um, but the elbows still work perfectly because of direct trimming. And then we have a hair dryer for heating because that's basically the most efficient heater I could find. It's like a thousand watts of heating and I have it laying around. So the problems were getting this camera in the right position so it can see people. So you might see a couple different holes. Besides that, everything went according to the CAD and to the plan. All right, so even though I don't have a crucial part in the building of Baymax, I am making this video and it's just been very difficult to be able to get these guys to stay on a deadline and make sure all the building happens and I'm able to actually film it. So we had some problems just like documenting a lot of what you saw in this video. So that's why it seemed sometimes a little bit choppy, but I'm really happy with how Baymax turned out and um, I'm just proud of this video. So. I'm glad he's done and I'm, I'm proud of us as a team. But first, let's see if Max feels loved by the hug from Baymax in the most overdramatic scene. Wait for it. 